Kia ora. I'm Di Rump from Muapukal Tribal Authority. Uh, about a year ago we got the opportunity through our partnership with the Ministry of Education to look at an accelerated achievement programme for Māori achieving as Māori. Um, that evolved into a programme that we did with a school called Tungia Te Koingo, which stands for Lighting the Flames of Yearning and Learning. What we were invited to do was Mua Upoko Fayat. Um, and so normally it's a series of four to five workshops where parents and tamariki get together and talk about and learn about how to read and enjoy reading together. What we were invited to do uh, was to make sure that that was a program that our whānau and our tamariki would enjoy as Māori and as Mūpuku. So when we spoke to them, what they wanted was to be able to do that program in their own space. So we made the program just a wee bit longer. Um, um, we started at the Marae and we haven't quite finished it. We'll be ending at the Marae and we found some significant spaces and places throughout our rohi that we've run our sessions in every week. I think it was about 68, 68 kids or 66 kids in our first no, uh, well, sorry, in our first wānanga that we had out of, out of the Kauhi at the Marae. And, um, and even though it was full on in terms of preparation, um, the personnel to help the structure of the um, the wānanga itself, of the um, the program itself out at the Marae. Um, the the best thing for me was because my grandson, my moko, he was part of it as well. And um, the best thing for me was that all of the kids absolutely loved it. I think it was one of the real strengths of it was not having it on school site and seeing the way that the the parents and the and the whanau actually got involved when we were on the marae. So having that first meeting on the marae made a huge difference. I think the biggest impact with, with partnering up with um, Moipuku, with the Tribal Authority, is um, it's, it's helping the, the wider whanau feel uh, more at ease. Um, they have an understanding of the way schools thing, um, do things, and they have an understanding of the way iwi do things, and so being able to draw on those different understandings and it helps to um, engage with them a lot better. Um, some, some people have, uh, I suppose, barriers or they have um, concerns, and so it's, it's, it's um, I suppose, it's inhibited of them to um, engage, actively engage in, in the children's learning. And so having that, that early partnership is sort of um, giving them the sense of, um, what's the word? It's almost a sense of ease that they sort of, oh, I know my iwi's involved, this, this, this is it by my eye, and, and so it feels okay to do this. So the, the liaison we have with Dai and Wupuku Tribal Authority has meant that we're in and out of each other's space more, so they're not becoming each other's space, they're becoming our spaces, and that's huge. Yeah. And we really noticed the spin-off because I had a little guy in my class, I've got year fours that attended the program and the Haringa and other things and we were having a conversation the other day and um, I said to him how was it down at, you know he's just moved to us, how was it at Makamaka Road? Oh Makamaka and said and he's like miss, it's Makamaka. I'm like well thank you for that, you know thanks for helping me with, <laughs> with my pronunciation and then he goes yeah it's okay but he said I like it best at uh, when I'm out at the beach and I, the sun goes down and I see my mountain and I see my river and I'm so proud and they only learned that through you know through that program you know it's just um, him learning about who he is and where he's from and you could see it you could see that you know that's my mountain and that's mm -hmm. my river and it was pretty amazing. Mm. With this program, we've learnt that it's okay for them to make mistakes. Yeah. Um, and ways of dealing with that. But my son's reading has really, really improved since being on this program. You know, my daughter also gets those benefits, and now my little brother is. We'll do it together. It's, yeah, it's yeah. really, really um, engaged all of us, not just targeted my son. I think the key difference in a lot of other situations is that the parents are on board um, and that they're, they're happy to ask questions and they're comfortable enough to ask questions and they don't feel like, I don't think they feel like they're being preached to or taught. The parents are seeing, the, and the, the, the wider whānau, because we've got grandparents coming in and 
they're seeing it's not a matter of teaching the kids it's about being a relaxed situation with the reading. It's about sitting down and having conversations. And therefore they, they understand that that's something they can do. They can do that, mm. but they're not being asked to teach. The Reading Together would be great if, if Mwupoko could pick that up and run with it right across the iwi. Mm -hmm. But also the concept of the Tungi Te Koinga model, where everyone's jumping in to help each other out, with the kid si simply being, you know, the child is absolutely what it's all about. And there's some serious discussion around yeah. that at different times, yeah. eh? Yeah. You know, we don't always agree. But it's it just brings you back to the right place. So if we could have that model running wider and, and for longer, there's no doubt our kids will achieve whatever achieve looks like. With Leah, when she struggles with something and she really did struggle with maths, she can give up really easy and just, oh well I'm no good at it so I'm not gonna try. And before this program she was a that was her. Um, I'm not saying that now she's an exceptional mathematician because she still does struggle, but her being on this program has opened her up to trying. She doesn't give up. She, she pushes herself to try and find the answer and she's still there giving it her all. So to me, that's huge. What's happening is that Fano are not only engaging with school and with education more, but they're engaging with each other. And as a result of that, we've had a flow-on effect into the community as well that our tamariki and our Fano grandparents, parents, all ages, and even some of our Fano that aren't directly involved in the program um, are being brave enough to come and have a say about what they think about education and what their gaps are and what their goals are. But I think, so that's, that can only be good for us taking ownership of educational outcomes for our whānau and our community. But I reckon I'm pretty hard to please when it comes to exceeding expectations. But this has become way more than any of us involved in this ever expected it to be. Um, we have our tamariki who have growing together the 40 to 60 muipoko tamariki that are at Livani School. They self-regulate their behaviour, they look after each other, um, they're so proud to be muipoko. They know everything about this land and their place and their place in it. Uh, their stories have now become part of the curriculum, their artwork has now become part of the history of the school and we've got this, you can sense it, there's a, there's a group of tamariki who will forever and I mean that sounds a bit over the top, but I'm telling you, forever be bound together uh, by this experience. And that's what the parents are seeing as well. So it's not just been about them achieving as Māori, it's exactly what the objective of this programme is, which was with the achieving as Māori. That's the bit that's made the difference.